Okay, so I told y'all a little bit about my rookie season and how it went and what I thought about it. Now I'm gonna go over some of the specific baits that I used on some of my better tournaments. Uh, we'll, we'll forget some of the ones that I didn't do so well. Um, one bait that I actually factored in that not a ton of people throw is this uh, smaller size jerk bait. It's a Lucky Craft 78. Um, and that isn't really the thing that changed the linear tournament for me this year. What changed is these hooks. These are the Gamakatsu Nano Finesse treble hooks. Over the span of three days in that uh, Elite Series tournament on Lanier, I caught probably 95% of my fish uh, on this bait. I caught every single fish that I weighed on this bait. And these hooks, over the span of three days, I probably caught 50 spotted bass, and I didn't lose a single fish, not the entire tournament, on these treble hooks. And I, I attribute it to two things, not only the treble hooks, but also the bait. I think that they have a little bit, the fish have a little easier time targeting a smaller bait and they come after it and they can get the whole thing in their mouth, those big two, three, four pound spotted bass. And I think that combined with these Gamakatsu hooks made my landing ratio on a jerk bait the best I'm ever gonna get. Another tournament that I did pretty well in was the Cayuga Lake tournament later in the year. That tournament, I ended up uh, fishing offshore quite a bit. Um, I was dancing around, Chris Zaldane and Jeff Gustafson and me, we were all sort of doing the same things. They got the better end of the stick, but I still did pretty well. Um, during that tournament, I actually fished a drop shot uh, quite a bit um, and caught a mixture of both largemouth and smallmouth. Typically, you know, like most people, I have a uh, 15, 18 inch leader on a drop shot when fishing deep and it's using a quarter ounce sinker but what i want to point out again you just heard me about these nano finesse hooks that is one of the new uh brent ailer stinger nano finesse hooks i think it's most commonly used on racky wigs uh wacky rigs but i put it uh on this drop shot and strung on a small minnow type bait this is a ned bomb from missile baits goby bite great color looks like a perch looks like a goby looks like a little minnow but um, in that tournament, I probably caught over the span of three days, maybe 60 fish, and I lost one fish that entire time on this bait, and that was a three and a half pound smallmouth the last, uh, the third day, which cost me a few points. Um, but so, these hooks, I can't speak highly enough. Um, the other thing that helped out in that tournament, along with the St. Clair tournament, was my, was my equipment, as far as rod and reel. The Shimano X-Prides and a Shimano Stratic, either the traditional CI4 or this new Stratic FL, the 3000 and 4000 series are tremendous for smallmouth fishing. I prefer the larger versions. I actually like the 4000 Stratic CI4s, the black and red ones. Um, they're bigger. I think the drag starts up a little quicker. You can recover a tremendous amount of line. They're lightning fast, probably some of the fastest spinning reels there are and uh, they're just kind of bulletproof. Uh, they're terrific, whether you're fishing deep for smallmouth or skipping docks for large mouth with, mouths with Senkos or fishing for redfish, which uh, I used them for those as well during a uh, Shimano event down at the headquarters in uh, South Carolina. Um, as we progressed on to our last regular season tournament, which was at Lake Tenkiller, it got re, uh, relocated from Fort Gibson to Tenkiller, and that was probably, I would say, most people would consider that the toughest tournament of the year. Um, at that tournament, I found a couple little niche things. I was fishing for some spotted bass and some largemouth. Good old chatterbait uh, with a missile bait shockwave um, on the back. I, li I actually like the shockwave on this bait because it doesn't overpower and drag the bait. Um, it lets it kick out a little bit more and get that movement that these uh, jackhammers have if you don't have a big bulky trailer on them. So I caught a few fish on that, but also I caught quite a few fish and a couple key fish, surprisingly, on a bait that I throw quite a bit and I don't think a lot of people throw it. It's basically a little football jig, but all I put on it is a Missile Baits Baby D-Bomb and I don't even put the whole thing on it. I only put maybe about three quarters or two thirds of the bait on it. You can see it's cut at the front there. So this little bait, it's slick, there's no skirt, you can cast it a mile, it's compact, it sinks like a rock, it's easy to fish, and I was fishing bluffs. My boat was in maybe 40, 50 feet of water, and I was fishing bluffs that might have been 10 or 12 or 15 where I was catching the fish. 
But that little bait is a slick little uh, bait that I've used at Grand Lake, Bull Shoals, uh, anywhere where there's a lot of rocks and you have especially mixed, mixed species. So spots, smallmouth, and largemouth will all eat this, and I caught them all a 10 killer on that, each, each variety. Um, then at the Angler of the Year Championship at Lake St. Clair, um, that tournament, obviously a great smallmouth fishery, unbelievable. I caught 60 pounds almost in three days and I finished 21st. It's unbelievable when you catch a four pound average and you're down in the middle of the pack. But what a fun tournament. Um, I caught quite a few of the fish on this Spro uh, deep dive and crankbait. And that's the, uh, that's the exact one actually that I was throwing. Um, the interesting thing that really helped me with this bait, I believe, is a rod that not a lot of people know Shimano makes. They make some glass rods. So this is actually a seven foot six Zodius medium heavy glass rod. Um, it's extremely light. It's just a great rod for larger crankbaits. They also make one in the X Pride that is uh, a glass rod. It's seven two, and that also is a tremendous rod for smaller crankbait, deep diving crankbaits, DT tens, DT fives, that kind of thing. Um, and when you combine it with a Corrado DC. You can cast the thing a mile, super smooth. Uh, the whining, when you hear the whining of these reels when you're casting them, you know that you're gonna be able to peel all that line off your reel and you're gonna to have to stop it because it's not gonna stop itself. These things are incredible. So those are some of the baits this year that really helped me have what I consider a fairly, fairly successful rookie year on the elites. Um, looking forward to next year again. Fishing a couple of spots. I've been to the St. John's now. I've been to the St. Lawrence now. I've been to St. Clair now. So it's been to Lake Fork now. So we're going to have some repeats. And I think that's going to help me along with some of these terrific uh, products that I'm lucky enough to have a relationship with these companies. So look for me out there next year.